Hello and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Rogner Hagen, filling in for Jen Zielinski. Our top story this week began with a devastating fire that burned through four businesses at Birch Plaza early Monday morning. Investigators believe the blaze broke out in a ceiling above Canadian two-for-one pizza and spread to surrounding businesses including Color Me Mine, Eco Water and Soccer Express. Nearby apartment buildings were also evacuated. No injuries were reported from the fire or from the evacuation. And some good news came out of the Birch Plaza blaze. Cora's Restaurant, which survived some smoke and water damage, donated their unused food to the local food bank. The health inspector was just here. Our fridges and uh, freezers have maintained their temperatures. No smoke was accessed because they were nicely sealed. So we're able to make a good donation to the food bank today. Um, since we won't be able to use that food for the business, we're going to donate our, our food that, uh, that is consumable to the food bank today. All businesses in the plaza were insured and the owners of CORE hope to reopen in the next few weeks. The assault trial of RCMP Constable Jeff Mantler began on Monday with the victim taking the stand along with other officers at the scene. Mantler is accused of kicking a man in the head during an arrest in January 2011. The kick was caught on tape by former Castanet reporter Kelly Hayes. The trial is expected to last one more week, but defense counsel may not present their case until the new year in order to find their own expert witness. Businesses on Dilworth Drive got a scare on Wednesday when somebody called in a bomb threat. It happened around 1.30 in the afternoon when someone called the threat into the Ministry of Employment office. A 40-year-old man has since been arrested and faces charges of uttering threats. The Kelowna RCMP are in ecstasy after raiding three locations, including a so-called super lab. They seized 3.5 kilos of MDMA powder, $85,000 in cash, and arrested four people who all faced charges of possession of a controlled substance for the purposes of trafficking and production of a controlled substance. The bust had an approximate street value of $2 million. Five members of the Greeks drug gang based out of Vernon were sentenced in a Vancouver courtroom earlier this week. The trial took 19 months before the five men were convicted for their roles in the killings of three men believed to have crossed the gang in 2004 and 2005. Well, that wraps up Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Rogner Hagen. Thanks for watching. Remember to send your tips to news at castanet.net and follow us on Twitter at, at castanetnews.